What's going on everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. For those of you that don't know me, I am Chump Change XD, the creator and admin of Misfit Mining. And recently I've noticed a lot of new miners in the space simply asking, how do we start mining? So that's what this video today is going to be about. I'm going to give a quick rundown, somewhat of a noob's guide to Hive OS for 2021. I do have a previous video of my first time personally downloading Hive OS and starting up on it. I will drop a link above. The quality is absolutely terrible. It's a way older video, so I do apologize for that. That is my reasoning to making this one today. So without further ado, let's get to it. First thing we want to do is come over to Hive OS. Once you're in Hive OS, you want to go to the install tab. Come down to the GPU section and click on the zip file. That file will then begin to download, let it do its thing. In the mix of that, let's go to the next site, balana.io. This is called Balana Etcher. This is what etches the flash drive M.2 or SSD with Hive OS. So you wanna download this for your computer. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it right now. Next, open up Balana Edger. This is what it will look like. Then you wanna choose Flash From File. Go to your Downloads folder and find Hive OS. Click it and click Open. Then you wanna select a target. I have plugged in a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive so I will choose that device and click select. So now we have the Hive OS operating system file that we downloaded and we have the selected drive that we want to flash it to. All you need to do is choose flash. So once you choose flash, this is going to take 30 minutes to an hour. Just follow the prompts, allow it to make changes to the device and then leave it alone. It'll take a little bit. So in the meantime, go back to the Hive OS page and create an account. Go to sign in, type in your email, a password, and I highly recommend a two-factor authentication. Once you actually get into the Hive OS page, it will look like this without these. These are the current rigs that I have up and running. So obviously yours is going to be blank. So now once your device is complete, you want to unplug it and replug it in for it to register and read the actual OS system. All right, so once you plug your device back in, it should now register as Hive OS. These six files should be inside of it. You want to choose Rig Config Example Text. This looks a lot more confusing than it is, so just bear with me. We're going to go back to our Hive OS that you just created. Obviously the home page will look a little different than mine because you won't have any of this, but you're going to go to settings right here where it says farm hash. Mine's blurred out, but you need to copy it and you need to paste it into this area. No spaces, just click, copy and paste. The password for the rig you do not need, so I just skip it. If you're using a farm hash, you can optionally name your rig. So say you wanted to name it the 3060 Ti rig. That's what the name should be when this registers in Hive. If not, there is other ways to change it. I've had issues this worked and this hasn't for me. Either way, it's not a big deal. The rest of it, you just leave alone. Biggest thing is the farm hash. So now what you want to do is go to File, Save As. Now you want to delete this line you want to type in rig.conf and then you want to change the text documents to all files and save it. Now if you go back to the device you can see there is a notepad that is labeled rig.conf. That is literally all you need. So now this device can be unplugged and plugged in to your rig wherever it is or you can leave it into this computer and you can start up Hive OS 
through your BIOS. But I'm going to assume that this is getting plugged in to another machine, so that's what this video is about. Alright, so now we're back on the home page. Typically, you would have just plugged in that device to your mining rig, connect it to the internet, and turn it on. Once you have everything connected, your rig should pop up in a line item like this. When you see these squares, they will most likely be red for your first time starting up because you don't have a flight sheet, a wallet, or anything like that set up. So, first thing I would recommend, go to your wallets. Right, so let's go to add wallet. You choose the coin type. This is all the coins you can mine with Hive OS. But I am just going to choose ETH. I already have an address in here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Please make sure that your wallet address is correct. If you import the wrong wallet address, your money will essentially just be burned. If you're mining ETH, for example, when you get to the 0.1 Ethereum mark, that is when you get paid out. It could take you weeks, it could take you a day, but as soon as you get to that mark, it will send a payout that evening. If your address is wrong, this will go nowhere and you will no longer have it. So please keep that in mind and double check. You can name the wallet whatever you want. So if it's your ledger, you can just put ledger and then you can leave the source blank. You don't need it. And then you just choose create. And there you have it right there. So. I'm actually going to delete this because I don't need another wallet. But these are my other three. Let's go to workers now. And we're going to go over to flight sheets. Obviously, you guys won't have all this below. But this is how we're going to go through and create a flight sheet from scratch. So you're going to choose the coin, whatever you want to mine. Okay. Obviously, you have all these options. I'm just going to choose ETH for the sake of ease. I'm going to choose my Exodus wallet. I'm going to choose Hive On. There is a bunch of other pools that you can choose. If you choose anything other than Hive On, I believe you get charged. You can have up to four rigs, Hive On, and not have any type of fees. So for simplicity, I recommend you just use Hive On. Wherever you are in the world, I'm choosing North America West. Keep this checked off. I had that on one time and it wouldn't allow my rig to work. So just make sure nothing else is checked off besides North America West or wherever you're from. Click apply. All right, so now we're gonna go to the miners. Say you typically use Phoenix Miner that does Nvidia cards and AMD cards. So that's perfect. You can name this rig one and create the flight sheet and you're done. Simple as that flight sheets done. But let's say you want to use team red miner and you have a mixed rig with Nvidia cards on it. Now, what do you do? So it's pretty simple. Let me show you click on team red miner, then click add miner, do the same thing. If you can mine to a separate wallet address, I recommend that just to make it a little easier for you guys to do. If you don't have the means to mine to another address, totally fine. I could show you how to do this. So within the sheet, now that we set up two separate miners on one flight sheet, you want to go to the setup miner configuration and right here, under the second miner, which happens to be T-Rex, right next to the percentage sign, just add a number two and apply the changes. We'll name it mixed rig and we'll create the flight sheet. So as you can see, the flight sheet's created. By adding a number two, it is basically a trick. So the miners on that flight sheet will report separate hash rates. That way you're not gonna get hash rates going back and forth incorrectly with the pools. So now that we're done with the flight sheets, we're gonna go back to workers. All right, so now that we're back at workers, I'm gonna choose one of my rigs. 
So basically when you're in here, you're going to see all your GPUs that you have plugged in or whichever ones you have plugged in, the names of the cards, and then you're not gonna see any of this. No overclocks, no wattage, no hash rate, literally nothing. It's probably just gonna be red squares up here or just blank squares if that. Um, what you need to do is go to Flight Sheets. Once you're in Flight Sheets, you wanna choose the flight sheet you created with whatever miner you wanted to use. Then simply click on this little rocket ship and the miner will start. Go back to your overview and just give it a few minutes. Once a few minutes passes, hit the refresh button and you should see that the miner started working. Over here on the right side, these little speedometer looking dials. So this is how you adjust the overclocks. We'll click on an individual card just to keep it simple. So what I recommend, at the beginning, these will all be blank. Just to start, do plus 100 core, plus 100 memory, and see where you're at. You can mess around with these settings, and you're most likely not going to ruin your card. Obviously, any adjustments you make are done at your own risk. This is just a quick walkthrough to kinda show you guys what my settings are. For the AMD cards, I have the aggressive undervolt setting checked off. My refresh rate's 20. Um, memory state, if you have an AMD card with this line item, put 800 in there. It'll give you the best possible wattage at the wall. That's what I've seen anyways. And when you're starting out with your overclocks, like I said, the plus 100 core, plus 100 memory, go up by 100 or 50 each time. Refresh and restart the miner after every overclock to get the proper settings. If you notice that your hash rate is going down, that means your clocks are too high, something's wrong. So lower them, restart the miner, and wait. It's a tedious game, back and forth, but that's the only way you can do it. Also, if you guys are interested, we do have a bot named Jarvis that is part of the Misfit Mining Discord group that will give you overclock settings to start out with. They will be pretty close to premium settings for your cards, but every card is built differently, unfortunately. So you may want to use him as a starting point, and then you can slightly adjust from there. The one last thing I want to show you guys, let's go back to the home page. I don't recommend this for beginners at all. All right, so in cards, what I recommend, each card you have, click on these three dots. Download your original vBIOS, and you check off save to the farm's vBIOS storage. So your original BIOS will always be backed up in Hive OS. This is where the original BIOSes are. As you can see, only the AMD cards BIOS is saved. That's because you don't typically BIOS any NVIDIA card. Then we have some modded BIOS ROMs that we uploaded into the same section. I made an entire separate video of how to do this. I will drop a link above. If you're interested in BIOS modding, please do this at your own risk. Be safe and pay attention to that video. It may help you. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. I really hope this helped some of you new miners get into Hive OS and be a little more comfortable with the whole situation, learning how to use a whole new operating system. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave your comments in the section below. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Also, we do have a free Discord group called Misfit Mining. If you have any further questions, please you can reach out there. There's plenty of people in the community that are willing to help. We have a Hive OS section where you guys can drop your questions and somebody will get to you as soon as possible. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.